Atisha. Hi, I'm Nishita. And we're Lulanas. And we are super excited to be here today at the Foundry in Philly to interview. But we'll let you guess that. They're YouTubers. There's six of them. And they just released their first full-length album called Up at Night. And they have sisterly harmonies that will knock your socks off. Did you just say knock your socks off? Yes. Well, I did, because their harmonies are awesome. Yeah. And it is pretty cool when siblings sing together. Yep. Yep. <laughs> if you haven't guessed, <laughs> we're interviewing Simarelli. <laughs> Lisa. My name is Catherine. I'm Lauren. I'm Amy. I'm Christina. And I'm Danny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, thanks so much for sitting and chatting with us today. It was so awesome to see you guys perform. I honestly wish you guys could have been in the audience watching yourselves. It was that <laughs> awesome. You, were so, you guys were so crazy good. It was insane. Like, you. you guys put everything on the stage. I don't think I don't think people understand how much energy that takes. It does. It takes it does. amazing. Like, they left everything, and then they still agreed to talk with us after, so it was great. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so for the people who don't know who you are, can you guys tell us a little bit about yourselves? How did Cimarelli get started, and how did you get your start on YouTube? Okay, well, we are all sisters. I'm the oldest one. That's why I'm in charge. Nice. So I was bored first, but you don't have that. Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just interview you. Okay, well, you're in charge then. Okay, so <laughs> anyway, we're all sisters from California, Northern California to be exact. And we were all into music like forever because our, uh, our mom's really into music. She's a pianist and our dad was really into it too. And we were just always into it. And then we sang together a lot put together the band 2007, got on YouTube 2009 with uh, doing like covers, which was like actually a new thing back then. So we were like one of the earlier people doing covers and then our channel just blew up. And then we got a record deal, we went to LA. We left our record deal, we left LA, we went to Nashville. That's where we are now. And we write our songs, we play all these instruments, we arrange everything and we're in control of our career now and in a great place. That's seriously so awesome. And she has a bag on. Because, yeah. she she to, because she wants to. Because she wants. Honestly, I don't know. Some guy gave me this at the meet and greet, and it had cookies in it. And I really like the cookies. Maybe I'm just trying to connect with the cookies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your favorite cover that you've ever posted on YouTube? I'm sorry, I was yawning. Um, <laughs> probably, probably our cover of Payphone by Maroon Five. I won't give up by Jason Mraz. Please. Um, I'm gonna say Boom Clap by Charlie X C X. Is that right? Yep, that's right. I like that Christina. one. Um, for now, I'm gonna say no by Megan Trainor. Oh. Our Call Me Maybe with Maddie V cover, so <laughs> yes. good. Perfect by One Direction. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, cool. so you guys are YouTubers. Can you guys tell us some of your favorite YouTubers? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Jacqueline Hill, Jacqueline okay. Hill, Jacqueline Hill. This Jacqueline might seem Hill. kind of random, but I watch a lot of vegan food blogs. So oh. I like um, Andy Jaffrey a lot. Catherine. Anyone else? I don't like YouTube people. Oh, okay. She's joking. <laughs> oh, no, Lisa likes. Oh, Lisa likes Tyler Ward. I love Tyler that. Ward, and also John Cena. What? John Cena. Hi. I love, Wait, what? I, ignore her. Ignore her. Who is that? She has no answer. Ignore her. Yeah, right. I love Tyler Ward. I love Tyler Ward. She loves Tyler Ward. Snapchat, YouTube, I'm there. He's the best. And who are some musicians that influence your sound? Oh. oh. Um, musicians that what? Influence, influence your sound. sound. Oh. Honestly, it's, it's kind of a mix of like, okay, I'll tell you. Michelle Branch, Floor Georgia Line, Lana Del Rey, Sam Hunt. Alanis Morissette, Sam Hunt. And also, I think we're pretty influenced, well, me personally, but I think you guys too, oh. by like emo artists. Mm. Ah. Because of how much emotion they have and how yeah. like Warp Tour. Like Mayday Parade. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Nice. <laughs> what is your songwriting process like? Who's the right, is there, are you, do you guys all write together yeah, we all, all the time, or do some of wow. you write more yeah. than others? They're kind of different every time. Yeah, it's really interesting. Um, a lot of times, I think we have a lot of stuff written on our phones. Some of them have more in a notebook, but a lot of, we have like a lot of lyrics on our phones. 
like when something happens to me that's emotional, I'll be like, oh, I gotta type this up really quick. I have like inspiration. And then everyone will like send it to my email generally and I will go through and like piece um, songs together or sometimes they'll write a song on their own and send me the song. Be like, well, listen to the song I wrote. And then I'll be like, oh, we should tweak this, this, this. They generally like trust my vision, but sometimes I'll just be like, what do you guys think of this? And then we like take a vote. Everything's like pretty democratic around here. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, can you girls tell us some upcoming projects for this year? Ooh. Or are they secrets? Secrets? Yeah, we have like we have like four really big projects, but they're all secrets right now. They're all different, completely different from anything we've done. Brand new projects. We're just going out in like all these different directions, but um, they're all secrets, so dang it. No hints? No hints? Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, how do you give a hint on this? Uh, you, you don't. I just thought I'd say it. One of them involves the written word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not the Bible, though. No. Wait, what? wait, wait. That's what, what I think. Oh, wait, no. Is that I written word? Oh. <gasps> Lots of written words. Every written word. All right, you heard it from here first. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of words. <laughs> Co coming soon. Which is good, because they're Exclusive. musicians and lyrics and that. <laughs> so this is your last stop on your East Coast tour. What's your favorite part about being out on the road? Um, oh, crying. Oh, no. Breakfast. Oh, no, I'm serious. Wait, <laughs> wait, listen, I'll tell you why. Right. No, I don't I'm really sorry, eat breakfast usually food. because I don't really like breakfast foods that much. But then when we go on tour, I get to pick from a menu, so then I get something good. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, hey, I'm serious. I'm serious when I say crying, because I don't really cry in my normal life. But then I just cry all the time on stage, so it's like a release of emotion. I think the best part is when I have like random friends in cities or when Catherine does that I know. Oh and it's gosh, always fun man. to like see people. Yeah, and I just like seeing all the new places. Like we've never been to Boston until a couple days yeah. ago. Boston, shout out. I like the fact that whenever we're on the road, we actually have some sort of a routine because our daily lives have absolutely zero routine. So when we're on the road, it's like, oh, every day, you know what you're gonna do. You have an on day or an off day, two options, that's it. Keep it simple. Yeah, great. Yeah. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> so home is Nashville now for you guys, right? You moved from California. And um, how do you like it? What's different about it from Cali? Um, Honestly, everything. Stop it. Um, Nashville's GR8 grape, amazing. Hey, stop talking. Um, here's, I'll tell you the differences between here and where we lived in Malibu. Beach, green, evil boys, non evil boys. No friends, friends. You can tell which one's Malibu at this point, by the way. To sum it up, in LA, we kind of felt, well, we didn't grow up in LA, but we lived there for five years. We kind of felt like crying ourselves to sleep, and now we feel like crying of joy. Tears of joy. <laughs> All right, you guys seem to um, be really up to date with the latest fashion trends. Whoa. Yeah, can you, yeah, it's love great. All your you guys style. are so stylish. Mm -hmm. um, can you guys each tell us what you think your style is? All right, I'll go first. <laughs> um, bags on my head, no. Um, honestly, it kind of changes. <laughs> I can't do this. Hold on, I'm going to take this off just for this question. Um, it kind of changes, but <laughs> it changes as my hair color changes. But um, anyway, generally it's kind of like uh, hipster grunge, not hipster, like uh, Tumblr. <laughs> Uh, trendy, uh, teen, goth, whatever, yeah, that. So all the annoying things you can think of put together. <laughs> oh my, I like to dress, okay. Um, my tour outfits are different than like video outfits. My tour outfit today is ugly, so don't look at it, but uh, That's yeah, usually cool. I like to dress like I'm a fairy, usually. Okay. I'm skipping the illiterate over there on that couch. Um, my style is funky and eclectic. Ooh, a simple answer. <laughs> okay, so my tour style is like, kind of like, in, can you please calm down people? Um, sorry, we're really hyper because we just got off the stage and that's kind of how we always are. Um, so my tour style is like an uh, emo person, like, you know, like warp Tour. That's my inspiration. But my real life outfit is like a yoga teacher, college yeah. student. Yeah. I think that's pretty accurate of how I dress in my normal life. Um, Mine is casual teen, hipster, emo, Hips up together. Casual teen, emo, youth group, <laughs> <laughs> up youth group, I do hit up youth group, so. Yeah, oh, and a little bit like urban spiced in there, like these shoes. Oh, right, I'll yeah. tell you what Christina's is. Christina's is sometimes she will walk your dog for like $10, you know? And then sometimes she'll punch you in the face. <laughs> okay, I guess, 
I guess that's good. Pretty accurate. Oh, right now, God. she's at punching in the face. Oh, my gosh. But then I'm she like walking off even though like that she's wearing like sweatpants and like like everything yeah. she's She just likes being comfortable. Yeah. Last question and then we have a little game. Do you guys have any pre-show rituals? Um, Christina gives us a pep talk and asks us what our inspirations are. Yeah, she's been saying that every show. She's like, so what's your inspiration? And then we all answer, like, oh, the man has light or something like that. Yeah. Um, we pray in a circle. Sometimes we do this thing. We started doing this recently. Guys, can you stop talking? So we do this thing where we go in a circle. I don't know how Christina thought of this. And she's like, all right, whoa, call 911. Listen, we go in a circle and then Christina, for some reason she gave up with us. She's like, all right, imagine your brain has arms. Now shoot the arms out of your head. So then she's just like, it's like, oh, what color, what color are your arms? Our brains hold each other. Yeah, our brains together. hands hold on to each other, and then we like discuss things. It's really weird. I know that's really no, cool. It's, it's like it's like connect. We like connect our connect. brains together. All right, yeah. like you Moving guys on. do. Yeah, you guys yeah. are twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah sometimes. Very true. We're gonna play a little game. <laughs> it's like um, they're like superlatives. superlatives. So nominate the sister who you think this applies yeah. to. Okay. Okay, which one of you guys has the best sense of humor? Uh, Just kidding. Um, in my opinion, Lisa does. Sorry. Everyone. Everyone. Yeah. Okay. Most, most laid back. Lauren. Oh, Lauren. No, Lauren. Lauren. Lisa. 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 Lisa's Lisa's pretty unlaid back. No, Lisa freaks out you about everything. Okay. It's, Lauren. 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 it's Lauren. Lauren or Lisa. It's Lauren or Lisa. Lauren and Lisa. Sound okay. Like Sorry, some of these are super random, but which one of you is most likely to go to Mars? If one of you. Danny. 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 Or Lauren. Or Lauren. Oh, Lauren. I'm the type who spent my whole life thinking to go to Mars. <laughs> Me too. Who's the best Taylor Swift fan out of your group? Oh. 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 You. Yeah. 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 No. I, I, I Excuse no. me. I drove 45 minutes to Target because I lived in the boonies <laughs> two times for her albums back in the day. Not really, what? yeah, not really, um, I'm not really as into her music now, but when I was younger, I was a huge fan. Which one of you guys is most likely to wear flip-flops in the snow? Like oh, I said, me. really oh, random. Oh, I actually, it snowed at our house and I thought it was a cool idea to run barefoot through the snow and then go on the swing set, but then my toes are just freezing in the wind, so that was a bad idea. <laughs> who's, who's most likely to win a rap battle? Me. Kevin. No. Kevin. Oh, I am so Lisa. Good. No, Lisa. I'll tell you why. Caps, I think it's the most creative. Like, no. you can come up with things. Like, no, you. No, no, wait, no, no, Lisa, no, no, Lisa no, did freestyle. No, no, Lisa freestyle. No, no, we no, 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 no. do it now. Here's my freestyle. Ready? There's, no. There's a table on the floor. Stop. There's a table on the floor. There's a fish on Lauren's head. Oh, she got some red eyebrows. Yeah. Video oh. games underwater. Susan fish in a chair and a bus. Oh. oh. A couch on a chair. Okay. That was interesting. Really no, I'm not gonna freestyle, but I like to say that I actually wrote on the fly today this really great rap that I that I might be submitting to Drake. So. <laughs> Which one of you guys is most likely to take a selfie? Like, which one takes the Lisa. most selfies? Lisa. 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 It's me. Lisa. Lisa and Danny. Lisa, Lisa and Danny. Lisa. Who is most likely to be sorted into the Slytherin house in Harry Potter? Me. Oh, oh. But I'm really not. But I'm most likely. Oh yeah, one of us. You guys can. You guys can both be in Slytherin. Yeah. Which one of you guys is the most messy? Danny, Danny or Christina? I vote. It's not. Me. Who is most likely to walk into a fountain while texting? You! <laughs> Daddy, Daddy. Or Amy! Wait, let me say something! Let me say something! Shut! Amy has this problem where she <laughs> she's really attracted to water somehow. So she spills it on herself. She drops her phone in the sink, in the toilet, literally everywhere. Water and Amy is just like a match made in heaven. But to end this off, what advice would you have for other aspiring artists? Um, uh, be yourself. Here's the thing. <laughs> to be an artist, okay. you have to actually like take a little look inside your soul and figure out what you have to say. Figure soul. out what your message is for the world and what you want people to like get out of listening to your music or watching you play live. And then you have to realize, actually, you have to ask yourself in your soul if it is right for you and if those passions that you have are meant for that or for something else. Um, all I'm saying is you're gonna hate your life if you let everyone tell you what to do. I just love this bag of it. You're gonna hate your life if you let everyone tell you what to do and you aren't even yourself. Like literally, you are going to hate your life, so be your freaking self. Yeah. Okay, and I have a really good piece of advice for creating. Um, 
do not let the audience into the room when you're creating. So that's something I always remember because your art should be for you and maybe the person that you're singing or yeah. whatever, writing or painting about and no one else. If you're writing with an audience in mind, no offense, but you're diluting your art. So keep it pure, people. Oh, and never, ever, ever, ever even think about writing for the critic. Never. Oh. Don't write for the critic. Don't. We're in Pennsylvania, so thank yous, guys. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. welcome. There you go, there you go. Did you guys get a chance to get any Philly cheesesteak yet? Yes! I love cheesesteak. And New York pizza, even better. Fall back, wish we 